Hello, class. Juan Carlos. Um, welcome to class today. We're, today we're gonna learn, um, do some speaking practice, and it's gonna be about engineering. We're gonna focus on um, engineering because that's your job, and it'll be good for you in case you need to work in the United States or if you need to work with somebody who is from the United States and doesn't speak your language. They only speak English. So first, what we're going to do is we're going to, I have some vocabulary words that you might use in the workplace where you work and we're going to look at them and then I want you to explain to me in your own words what they mean. Or you could use them in a sentence, um, whichever one you want to, just to show me that you understand what the words mean. <clears throat> and then after that, we're going to pretend that I'm a new engineer and I'm going to work where you work. I'm going to work with you. Um, and so you need to teach me um, how, how things are at your job, or you can tell me about a project that you are currently doing, that you're doing right now. Um, are you ready? Yeah. Okay. So, I have six new words, or maybe they're not new, but six words that, six vocabulary words for you. Um, the first one is a phrase. It's research and development. And that means to investigate um, so that you can develop a new product or so that you can improve one, an old one that you already have. And so you're researching things, you're looking at things so that you can make or develop an old or new idea. And then we have prototype. Prototype is um, the original version of something. For example, if you make cars, you might make a model car or a one that just to see if it works. So that's the original version, prototype. And then we have constraint which is a limitation or restriction that you need to think about when you're designing a project. Um, it's something that you need to stay inside of, like, for example, a budget or the space where you have to build something. Those are constraints. And then we have accepted risk. That's the amount of a risk that you're willing to take in order to um, do a project. For example, you're going to have to use machines probably in a project, but you can't always make sure that the machine is good and it might break down, might not work. And so that's one of the risks or that you might have to take. And so that's, that's decided by everybody. Um, and then we have a code, which is the law, the regulations for creating like buildings and stuff, or the standards of safety, just to make sure that everybody involved in a project and everybody using the project after it's made are safe. And then we have approximation, which is a rough calculation. You don't actually calculate it out. And you don't just throw out random numbers, but you look at what you have and you say, it's probably somewhere around $5,000 or something like that. That would be an approximation. Um, okay, so you can either tell me what the words mean for you, or you can use them in a sentence. And you can start with whichever ones you want. Okay, I was thinking uh, in those words and in my job, I'm trying to connect it. <laughs> um, currently, 
we have a project well we're planning for the next year our budgets and projects that we will do the next year um, there are th there is a lot of new things that we're planning to to build to construct in, in the city like um, uh, church is not a church chapel chapel uh, a small mm -hmm. uh, building mm -hmm. in the top of a hill oh. so here in Peru you know people are really religious so we have to research new information in order to develop the plans uh -huh. yeah. I was thinking about that and then approximation for when you develop a, a new project you need to to make approximations you, you don't need to be completely exactly exactly what what type of bolt you need to do you need to, is to you know, it, I mean you don't need to know everything mm -hmm. so you make approximations uh, of money how much money it will cost and um, the plans you know mm -hmm. so that's the second word Obviously, there for doing for construction, there's a codes, mm -hmm. relation, and standards that we need to to fulfill because it's the law. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, uh, and we're we're talking last last night. I was in the meeting and. Those small buildings, those church at the top of the yeah. hill, uh, need to need to be designed with new code of uh, seismic uh, specifications. Mm -hmm. we, we have uh, a new code for the two years past, uh -huh. two, two years ago. Since two years ago. Since two years ago. Okay. Prototype. I know what the word is, but you can just tell me what it, what it is. Well, it could be it could be. Uh, I don't know if you have ever seen a small building made with. Uh, sticks or uh huh yeah like little uh -huh. wooden little small small materials yeah I don't know the word in English but it could be a prototype of the big uh huh uh, like project like a small model yeah a small model yeah mm -hmm. good so that's would be a prototype and. Constraints. Constraints would be our limitations. Because for every every project, uh, you have a time, time bound, time <laughs> limit, time end. A a, due, a specific time. A due date. Yeah, a due date to finish it. And a specific budget. You have. You you have have. A little bit more that you need, but you should keep your expenses. <laughs> uh -huh. So they have constraints. Okay. And risk. Uh, risk. In the plan, in the plans, actually, you make like a book in the project. Uh -huh. It's it's huge. So, a part of the project is uh, 
risk management. Uh -huh. So you consider in things that could happen, like if it is raining, it could be dangerous to start the construction in the top of the hill. Uh -huh. So. So you can you should uh, manage the risk. Uh huh. Take it like remember there are things that we need to be careful about and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Good. Um. Yeah. Well, you kind of you kind of made part of that into like how you would explain to somebody about work. But let's pretend now that I. And you at your work. Um, how about you pretend, or how about you teach me about a project that you're already working on, and you can use um, two to three of these words just to help me get a little more acquainted and involved at your work, so that I'm not just new and looking everywhere. Okay. Hello, Engineer Placencia. How are you? Good. My name is Jessica. I'm new here. Um, and you're gonna you're gonna be my mentor, they said. You're gonna teach me everything I need to know. So what do I need to know? Who sent you? <laughs> <laughs> um well we are mm, planning the new, the new projects that we will do the next year. So you need to know not exactly uh, everything, but you need to know the uh, everything that we will do. Uh -huh. So, you have to review the the numbers of the project, the names of the project, the, the places, uh -huh. and, and you have to make approximation uh, for how much would be, how much money you will need in order to fulfill your, your, your projects assigned. Because you will be management at least five projects. <laughs> That's a lot. Not really. No. I have ten. <laughs> oh wow. But you will have a team to help you. Oh okay. Actually, I am part of your team. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And okay. um, so. To develop this uh, new project, you will need to make a search, or maybe you have information in your background, mm -hmm. and, and also uh, you have to research or investigate the documents that we have oh. to make you. Uh, involved? Yeah. To get involved in the project? Yes. To oh, so I have to... The projects that you're already doing, you're telling me I need to research those? Yes. Oh, okay. Yes. okay. okay. So, you know, in our meetings, you will know what we're talking about. Uh-huh. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, like... Everything you will have a specific time. So in this mm. project will assign you the four. Um, how do you say the places where you play soccer? A field, field a soccer okay. field. We we are we are planning to make four fields. Oh. In different places in, in Lima. Okay. So, 
I'll assign you those projects as you start oh. your uh, work. Okay, so I'll have a time limit on there? Yes, because okay. we will uh, we will need the uh, studies, engineering studies. Uh -huh. It's not the, engineering studies. The uh, work from their research. Their research. We need the plan done. The, the specifications. Uh -huh. We need the specification for this year. Okay. And this year is ending. Oh, wow. That's <laughs> so we have a limit. We have a... a Constraint. A time constraint on this project. Okay, well, thanks for letting me get to know a little bit more. I, uh, I'm i not supposed to stay here all day, but I just wanted to get to know you and to know some of the things that I need to expect. So thank you so much for explaining a little bit to me how it is to work. You're welcome. Now, if you have questions, just let me know. So right. I can help you. Okay, I will. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> well, that's the end of the class, so thanks for coming. <laughs>